Hello everybody, I was just about to start this microphone project. Thought maybe you'd like to watch along uh, or at least visit in. I'm, I don't have a cameraman so we'll just uh, come back and visit this project occasionally. Let's see, uh, Willis in Maryland. We got a Q mic, QM50, Pro Mic Arm. He's got some extras in there. Okay. So that's the mic arm. Standard extendable, like a boom light magnifying glass. Except this one comes rigged with mic cable up through the boom. We're going to go ahead and assemble that. I don't know what he sent me here for a microphone. Mm. Made by MXL. The MXL 990. That's the cage support. Alright. And a foot switch for keying the radio. What Willis wants me to do is he wants to use all of this equipment on his. Galaxy DX2517, which means we'll be wiring this up and showing you how and what you need to get the keying input and the audio input into any four pin Cobra style or Galaxy or any of those four pins. And this is how to do it. This tube MP, I got one of these at home, these work pretty good. A little tube amplifier preamp gives you phantom power for your microphone. Everything you need to plug your microphone in. And we're going to come out of here and go to the radio. We've got some gain adjustments. You're going to keep those really low. That's, uh, when you dig around, that's about as small as you can get and, and get something to provide you with some phantom power. And it's got a nice little sweet tube amplifier sound, so that's cool. All right, let's visit back when I get some of this assembled. Okay, I got it all put together. Here's our foot switch, comes over to here. Uh, let's, let's talk about this first. The mic audio comes from here, goes through down to here, around this cable, through this input to the tube MP. Out of that, through a quarter inch plug, comes through this stage cable up to the radio. I'm going through a choke right here. It's also where I'm bringing in the foot switch. It wraps through the choke and then goes into the mic plug. And it's well sealed. So let's lay down a recording across town and see what this thing sounds like. Audio, check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Audio, check, check, check. Um, this is an RCI 2980 with a whole bunch of studio gear stuff hooked to it. And I'm back out. Check, 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 check. I thought I'd try it one more time. We're just a little too loud. A little background noise in there. Audio, check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go check that out and see what it sounds like at home. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Audio. Check, check, check. Um, this is an RCI 2980 with a whole bunch of studio gear stuff hooked to it. And I'm back out. Try it one more time, we're just a little too loud. A little background noise in there. Audio, check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five. And one thing I forgot to show you, Willis, 
I told you I had one of these tube MPs at home, and the only thing I didn't like about it was every time you go to shut it off, you got to reach in the back and pull out the cord. That just doesn't seem professional. So I went ahead and modified this one for you. Now you've got an on and off switch right above the cord. Shut it off right there. You don't have to worry about pulling the cord in and out every time. All right, have a good night, everybody.